Sziasztok, sziasztok, nem Gábor Lázsa, Tekvidó nézitek, és itt vagyunk Münchenben az IAA-n, az egy autókiáltás, két évente történik, és nagyon-nagyon sok gyártó van itt, de a sípengnél em, egy pár direkt embernél is tudtam úgy beszélni, hogy arról, hogy Európát hogy fogják elfoglalni, nem csak az, hogy itt gyártanak majd autókat, hogy ők lesznek a mesterséges intelligenciának a tényleg legkifejlettebb talán gyártója, belülünk is egy-kettő autóba, és most egy interjút fogtok angolul hallani em, egy pár itt dolgozó emberrel, ami elég érdekes lesz, úgyhogy folytassuk azzal. Welcome, welcome from the IAA in uh, Munich. We are at the International Automobile um, Convention um, with Xpeng in the background. I have an interview partner here from the RIS Group. Um, who yeah. are you? What, what, why we are the RIS uh, Positioning Strategy Consultancy. Uh, we were founded in uh, 1963 by Al Ries. Wow. Uh, and our uh, speciality is to position brands in the mind of the customer. So uh, we have a big business in uh, America, Europe and China. So we have uh, our biggest office in China, actually, uh, because uh, the Chinese brands are very interested in, in positioning themselves. And, and that means that you have to establish your brand in the perception of, of the consumer. You already mentioned the keyword China. Behind us is a Chinese company. And um, we see at this convention a lot of German companies, but more and more Chinese, yes. maybe even more than half of the, the companies that are at this convention are Chinese. Yes. Um, we have seen in the last few years really big development, especially in Asia, mm. with electric cars. Yes. But there's also hybrids and other positions that need to be filled. What is the most promising maybe um, area that Chinese brand can um, establish themselves in? I, I, I think it's uh, coming from China. Uh, it's it's uh, about 50% of the uh, fleet in the streets are electric now, of course. And the Chinese government has been against the hybrid uh, technology. Uh, they want to go for electric, full electric. That's very good. So that's uh, we have around. We've had around 300 electric car brands in China. It's it's been an explosion. Uh, but of course, there's a, a tough competition over there, uh, and the brands are now looking at uh, expanding outside of the Chinese market. The competition is also very strong here, but the, the only growing market, I think, in 2025 was Asia. Here it's a little bit declining, yes. also in the US. Yes. Still the brands trying to come here because there's still there's now an opening position to, to fill or? Absolutely. There's a, I think, the, I mean, we see that uh, the, the market is clearly going electric. Uh, what, what's stopping a little bit, uh, particularly in the German market and Europe, is the insecurity at the moment. Uh, I think uh, both consumers, uh, politicians and, and uh, are, are insecure about where where is this going and I think the industry here if we look at the established brands uh, they, they are very insecure at the moment I think. also maybe the electric grid a little bit that people are feeling insecure about if I buy an electric car yes. where can I charge it yes exactly I mean in Asia also there's a lot of people living in huge cities but yes. uh, the Grid is a little bit more fit already for charging more EVs. I think the, the difference in China is that the government has been subsidizing charging from the very beginning. So, so they actually built a charging network before the streets were filled with electric vehicles. And that, I think that's more the, if you, they, they have a clear intention, they want to go electric. And I, I think that's a little bit hard for the, uh, for the Chinese brands to understand that Europe is so slow in the conversion <laughs> going to electric. Uh, so that's why we have a couple of brands here. I think, uh, I mean, we are involved because we work in, in both in China and, and here. And you know, both sides are Yes, we try to bridge over what we see is possible in China. And, and we see immense technological development at the moment. I think even the, 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 the established brands here, the German brands, are a bit nervous about the quality that some of the Chinese, and particularly Xpeng, is a very uh, nice engineering company. So Of course, they learned a lot. So you mentioned Xpeng. Exactly. We should check them out a little bit closer yeah. because they're beautiful cars. And also, I'm seeing a drone up there. Yeah. So, so a lot of R&D also uh, happening in China. Uh, yes. Maybe even here in Europe. You know, I, I, yesterday was the media day here and uh, opening the IAA. And uh, what we are proud of uh, working with Xpeng is that it's actually one of the first Chinese companies that show uh, a face. Uh, we had the founder and and uh, and uh, and uh, chairman of uh, of uh, Xpeng. He's here in Munich, uh, Mr. He Xiaopeng. I will try to grab him someday. <laughs> yes, yeah, you should. He, he was actually in town just before, uh, and uh, I think it's a bit unusual to to uh, to see a company leader from the Chinese companies because the other brands are just here with the brand and their car. 
Uh, what we want to do as we work with positioning, we want to establish the brand in the mind of the customers. Or I saw even other brands with ambassadors, but that doesn't, yeah. You know, people want to see who's behind the brand. Yes. And, and, and uh, we know that, I mean, the, the, the most famous electric brand is Tesla and we have Elon Musk. Our, our uh, founder it's, here but for it's good and bad for a brand sometimes. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Uh, so we try to see that that uh, I, Mr. Hisha Peng is a little bit the opposite of, of Elon Musk. Uh, That's good. Uh, so <laughs> more <laughs> but, reliable maybe yeah, exactly. in his decisions. He's, he's a very thorough, and uh, he comes from from the uh, AI uh, and and uh, and AI side. So so that's why he he sees cars in a slightly different way. I think uh, than. So you're helping Aspen also to get into Europe and build a bigger brand and be an established company. But what um, mistakes do a lot of newcomers, after what you have maybe seen as a consulting firm, um, what, what mistakes do companies do when they come to the European market? Well, well, I think the two biggest mistakes are the one is trying to appeal to everybody. That won't work. A brand has to be focused in order to own a position in the mind. And the other thing is trying to do it all at once. It takes time to build a brand. No brand. No big brand was an overnight success, even so you have the feeling afterwards. Have you seen that with other American brands that have tried to enter the market, but even in Asia it took a while to, to build a bigger brand for, for the big companies? Explain, I've heard a few times already since I go to automotive um, conventions like this, but on the street I see also a few cars already from x so it's nice to see that they're building already a strong brand. Yeah, yeah they started the process, but I think that's, it. that's important. You really have to see brand building and brand success as a process. So in a way, the one thing you try is to move from one leadership to the next leadership. One of the best examples, in my opinion, is Facebook. Mm -hmm. Because when Facebook started, they were not the biggest social network. That was MySpace. But Facebook was the leader, the market leader in Harvard. It was the social network only for Harvard. It was the first leadership. They found a niche. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it was a, a powerful leadership position. Mm -hmm. And from Harvard, they moved to the Ivy League, the eighth best universities in the USA on the East Coast. And from the Ivy League to universities, and from universities to everybody. And, and I think that's the key in brand building, to say, okay, what is my first leadership, and how can I build the next bigger leadership, and then the next bigger leadership, in order to become a big and powerful brand. And um, what tip did you give Xpeng for doing the same? Like, did they start in the, the high end, or the mid brand, or, or is it the AI focus that I've heard before from your colleague that is, pushing them forward in Europe very much or what's the key factor for expecting? Well, well, I think crucials, and crucials will be key markets like Germany, France and, and the United Kingdom. Yeah. So there you have to build your leadership and also Quality, in, I guess, maybe. <laughs> and, uh, in a mind. And this is also, I think, a process in every country. So you, can't not, uh, you cannot try to do it overnight. You really have to move on and on and on with a strong, powerful idea. And, and I think that from the global positioning of Xpeng with this AI mobility, you have to grow this position outside of China. And um, Xpeng also is um, putting a lot of money into R&D, even more than maybe other European brands, and therefore they will have a good position also in that way, that they are ahead of the old school brands. Yes, and the one thing is to that you find a positioning idea you focus on, and the next thing, of course, is you have to invest in this idea. It's, it's not only a static position in the mind, it's a direction for a company. So you have to say, okay, what do we have to do outside the company in terms of PR, advertising, sales? But you also have to think about what are you going to do inside the company, like R&D. It's, it's really a process, outside and inside the company. Outside and inside the company, but also outside and inside of China or Asia, I guess. because Of course way bit different market in Europe or even in the US. I don't know how the whole world is like looking different than cars. We're using it differently in the US for long drives. Here it's, I guess, more short drives. Smaller cars maybe here are more on the focus. Yeah, I think that's really, that's a big challenge, not only for Xpeng, for every brand. In one term, we are living in a global economy. We have global media like YouTube, Facebook, WhatsApp, yes. uh, WeChat and a lot of others. So. That means in former times, you maybe had different positions in different countries. That won't work anymore. Yes. You have to find one global positioning idea, but then you maybe have to translate this idea in advertising and PR in slightly different ways. Uh, one example I like really is, is BMW, because uh, BMW stands for driving. In the United States, they have the slogan, the ultimate driving machine. Oh, 
and in the UK, driving pleasure. Mm -hmm. So they have two different slogans in two countries that are mainly speaking the same language. So you have a slightly adaption. And I think that's important also for explain. One global idea, and then of course, you have to think country by country, how can I dramatize this idea so that it will work in this country? And then you're helping very much explain as the consulting group? Yes, especially <laughs> now in Germany and in Europe. Oh, perfect. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So the new interview partner here, directly from Xpeng. Um, what's your name and what's your position? My name is Andrew Zhao, and we are the strategy partner with Xpeng. And in fact, we have cooperated two years, uh, two years early, and uh, from China, and then in uh, global, in the global, especially in Europe, in Germany. Yes. Ah, so, so you are basically helping them to to find a space in Germany. Yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. I think we think. Germany is very important in global, as is the, the main market and is the most important market in the world. I think if uh, Xpeng wants to go to the global, it makes sense because Germany has very good brands. Yes, they built yes. up over a hundred year. I, I get Mark uh, very good brands, but now you are coming and you, of course, want to take advantage of the jet. Maybe even in terms of uh, building quality cars in Europe. I heard there's um, uh, maybe a factory even built soon here in Europe. Mm -hmm. Yes, we know. Like, uh, the market here and the consumers here is quite different from China. You know, yes, in China we have we are we are talking about AI mobility, but as we know here, it, skepticism. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, people uh, cares about equality. Yes, and uh, uh, it, it's quite different. So we have uh, find what customer here wants, and uh, and we will repositioning uh, the the brand. It's not easy because you yeah. buy a car and then we use it for 20 years, 30 years, and AI yes. is only and here and for a few years. And it's we don't really know. a tough problem and a tough, uh, a tough task for us to do to solve, yes. But as a new brand, you have the opportunity now to show people that with right. AI, you're right. in the right spot. And maybe you can build a car that's um, made for the future also in the in yes. term. Yes. Not only two years, but for the next 10 years. Because, right. right. Um, China has a um, big expertise in this area, and Germany does not. So here you have a nice focus that you can um, uh, get people to buy your car. And I see a lot of ex banks already in Germany driving. Yes. I just sent your colleague yesterday a picture. I was a driven from Okay. Good. okay. Um, a beautiful ex bank car. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. I see them on the, on the streets now everywhere. It's quite yes. nice to see. In fact, we have uh, talked with several ex bank consumers uh, in the morning, and uh, they all say, although before they bought, uh, they purchased the car. They don't know what, what is Xpeng. They, they just know a Xpeng is uh, a Chinese brand. But when they bought the car, they feel wow, it's cool. And uh, uh, before they drive some uh, BMW, Mercedes, uh, Benz. But when they got the Xpeng, for, for example, G9, they, they feel the car is very good. So the battery technology, for example, is getting better and better um, nowadays. So um, the future for Xpeng is um, which area? Of course, more, okay, okay. more range or okay. just AI? Or yes, what, yes. what is your next big plan? I saw having a robot yeah. and a drone <laughs> on yes, the other yes. side of the stage. So. I think in the future, may, maybe the self-driving is our focus to, uh, let, uh, to to make it use in the Germany. But for now, because of the politics and something else, and uh, maybe the long range is very important and uh, faster charging, yes, uh, less uh, our advantage is. That's a very big difficulty in Europe, I guess, the charging. Yes, There's yes. no charging network like in Asia yet. Yes. Um, we'll explain maybe also expand in that area, not only building cars, but helping the infrastructure. Of course, it's very important it's for the cleanliness of customers yeah. and uh, they can use it everywhere. Okay, that will be very nice. I'm yes. excited to see that. How do you see other brands position themselves in Europe? Well, who's your biggest competitor? I think Tesla. Of Tesla? Course, Tesla, yes. Uh, Tesla is very strong here and it, it sells many cars here. And uh, in the customer's minds, Tesla is the top one brand, top line brand. Yes, so if but there we, also always needs to be a competitor that is pushing Tesla to be better, yes. or maybe you can overtake them <laughs> in that. Yes, that's our our problems. Yes, I Tesla like, is good, but it's old. We are young. Know. Yes, we have more new technology here, so and uh, we have a better price. Yeah, so we we have confidence to beat them. So it's like with um, BMW always pushed uh, Mercedes and there's Audi and all that yes, comes exactly. they push each other. Right. It will be the same, hopefully. Yes, yes, yes. And there is also, I think, German partners invested in Xpeng also, so they also believe in you a little bit, as far as I know. Yes. 
not majority stake, but right. you are getting also some uh, German insights and I guess from there for, for how to enter the German market. Uh, yes, we will be like. És már ennyi is volt itt az interjú a Shipeng kínai márkával. Remélem nektek egy pár érdekes infó volt benne, mint például, hogy majd Európában is vannak éppen az osztrákoknál majd autókat. Nekem minőségre méret eléggé tetszenek az autók, jól elférek benne. Az AI ígéretet, amit mondtak nekünk, arra kíváncsi vagyok majd, hogy tényleg Európában mennyire fogadják majd el. De le a kommentekben, hogy ti mit gondoltak erről a márkáról, vagy más ázsiai márkákról Európában, mikor fogjuk jobban befogadni őket, és hogy mikor fogják lehagyni akár az európaiakat. Erre leszek kíváncsi. Úgyhogy sziasztok! Nem Kábalás, legközelebbi, iratkozzak fel te TikTokon, meg Instagramon is, és hagyjatok itt egy um, csengőt, nem. és iratkozzatok fel persze YouTube-on is, és a csengőt is aktiváljátok. Legközelebbi.